Well, it was a school project I started almost a year ago, trying to get the village of Grays Lake, Illinois to ban plastic shopping bags because I live less than a mile from a landfill and on windy days we can watch workers put up extra fencing to catch these blowing plastic bags. Also in my state, plastic bags get caught in the farm equipment. So just as I was deciding the best way to approach this village about my issue, SB 3442 came out, which would bar any village from banning plastic bags. Hey, Abby, so you get to hand deliver uh, your petition that you started, I believe, at change.org. You know, 170,000 plus signatures. You hand deliver to the governor. Were you nervous at all? Or were you like, here you go, governor. Are you with us or not? <laughs> I was. When we did my speech, I didn't know the governor was going to be there until the elevator ride up to his office. So when someone told me, I started to get a little nervous, but he was super nice. So as soon as I shook his hand, I knew he it was not, I wasn't nervous. So Abby, you know, I find this so inspiring. I got involved in politics when I was 13 years old myself. And so has this inspired you to take on more causes, maybe to run for office someday? Yes, a lot of people told me that I would be good in the office, so it's definitely a possibility for me. Hey, Abby, did anybody, were there any people uh, either against you or, or like, oh, come on, Abby, you really can't do this? Were there naysayers out there? Of course. I had the critics who were saying, what do we do with dog poop? And then I had the other critics who were <laughs> saying that I was forcing individual basic choices on them. And some of my friends, when I told them about my project, were like, are you seriously going to actually try this? I don't think it's going to happen. So that made you more determined, it sounds like. That's a lot of voices coming against yes. you. Yes. 